Good morning, beautiful soul. It's Kirsten from Kismet, and I hope your day is starting out just as wonderful as it could be. Um, today's affirmation is absolutely fantastic, and I know I say that about them all, but I love them all so much. And it is, I am the creator of my story. Let's see. Oh, I'm having trouble. Must be the glare from the sunshine. It's a beautiful dancer. I'm trying to find, see if I can get you guys to see that. Oh, there it is. There we go. I am the creator of my story. We are co-creators with the divine. And because of this, we have the opportunity to generate, write, live the life that we truly deserve and want. And one of the ways we can do that is by choosing those thoughts that serve us and getting rid of all the icky, gunky thoughts that don't. Um, we all have an inner critic and we all have an inner champion. We we'll call it a champion. The inner critic is our ego and the one that feeds us all that nonsense about who are you to do this? You're not good enough. That won't work out. All those stories that aren't true. We can't predict the future. It doesn't do us any good to sit there and project into the future something that is absolutely undesirable and doesn't serve us. We can, however, create our future. So when we are stuck with our inner critic and those thoughts of nothingness and unworthiness and just plain running ourselves down, those are the thoughts that create our future. So when we're in that place, we are basically predicting what's going to be happening to us. So we need to get out of there and we need to get out of there fast. And so we do this by listening to our inner champion. That is the loving voice inside you, the voice that says, you got this girl, you go for it, you have gifts to share, look at you go, yes, you can create a new business that you love, yes, you can have the love that you want in your life, yes, you can take that trip, yes, you can start something new, yes, you can create something beautiful. That's the voice we need to think about and listen to. So when the voice of our critic jumps in, we can say, hey, I hear you, but I'm not going to listen to you. And then choose a thought that serves us. Instead of saying, I'm so scared about what's going to happen. What if nobody becomes a client of mine? Instead, choose the thought, I am so excited for the future. I am ready to be in the glory of my service and leave it open. And make it positive and your guides your angels and the divine light will run in you can picture them in their running shoes run in and help you with that so this week as you move throughout the week remember that you are the creator of your story and your story is your life if you have any comments that you want to share please please share them with me i love hearing from you and i hope that you remember throughout this week to be the positive co-creator that I know that you are. This is Kirsten. Have a fabulous week.